Howdy arty aliens and welcome. I am Paul Yatesman. I draw stuff. In today's hashtag HR Giga Challenge video, I am detailing a Star Wars Type A wing in a biomechanical organic style. I will be showing you the last half of a 60 odd minute sketch drawn with a range of B and H pencils and a smudge stick as a time lapse video. I neglected to record the first half of the drawing, so what you'll see today is me trying something new with my biomechanical design. What I am trying today is a mix of pencil, fine liner and marker. Historically I've either used pencil or pen, but not both for this style. And I don't think I've, well I've used marker maybe once or twice. I was interested to see the result. Stick around to see how it turns out and let me know what you think. What I am going for here is a sort of heart shaped fuselage with the cockpit area resembling the collateral hood and the edges of the craft sort of like a labia. Don't you love what you can get away with in art? The lined area to the front of the craft was meant to represent smooth muscle. The texture here consists of short sharp lines coming from each edge as well as a bunch of double lines. I think it winds up looking like cardiac muscle which technically is smooth muscle so that's all good. The pointy things at the front of the ship are bog standard biomechanical bones. I added some pipes to the front to maybe represent cannons and added some thick pipes to the rear of the A-wing to form the thrusters. Uh, maybe that's where the X-wing I drew yesterday could dock. <laughs> Who knows. My texturing attempt of the fleshy part on the front of the A-wing was supposed to show a concave or recessed surface. Instead what I got was a convex surface. And I put that down to even shading rather than graduated and not enough curvature to my lines. Anyway, it still works design wise, so there you go. As this is an organic vessel, I've chosen my warm greys as they have a hint of brown. How I am using the grey markers is to indicate areas of shadow. I used 4 to 5 hues of the warm range for this and concentrate on the fleshy side panels the most to try and duplicate the dappled look you might get on crenellated skin parts. I also make use of my skin tones as this is a fleshy ship design. And as normal, start with the lightest greys you want and move to the darker ones. You can always blend out darker colours with the lighter colours. I'm completing the shadowing, I'm getting into the crenellated bits of skin and just doing squiggles all over the place with uh, progressively darker markers which hopefully bring out the texturing of this part of the, uh, the ship. I then move in with the flesh tone marker to show some subtle highlights and then that's pretty much it. So here's the final image post sketching and before adding line work or marker. Here it is again after the line work and marker. What do you think? Was it worth the extra effort to ink and colour the image? Or should I have stopped at the graphite sketch stage? Have a go at the biomechanical style yourself and share your efforts with me in the comments or via one of my social media accounts. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you are inspired to draw on your own sketchbook or journal, etc. Or even do a video like this, I subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Self with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, and until next time, take care.